What's up, Prime? Welcome back to another spooky video with your host. You know who. The one and only. We are back with another video. Oh, my God. Welcome back. Hi. If you're new, welcome. If you're old, what's up? We are back with another video. Reaction video at that. Today's video is titled... I don't know what it's titled, but we're going to figure out what it's titled. Sure, you're home alone. Okay, ignore that. Scary people TikTok stare... Scary and creepy TikTok stories that will give you the chills. Part one. So if you want to see part two, just like this video up and we will get right into that. So we will get right into this video. If you like this, like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I'm too excited. We gotta comment down. And we will get right into this. This is why you should always make sure you're home alone. One day, two police officers are sitting in their car waiting for their next call. They pull over a couple cars, but nothing unusual. A couple hours later, they get a call saying a woman feels like there is somebody in her house and she is hiding. The police, thinking it's some sort of home invasion, begin to rush to the scene. They pull up to the house and notice all of their lights are off and the doors are closed. The police begin to try and open the door, but the door is locked. They decide it'll be quicker if they just bust a window and enter the scene. They bust at the window and begin searching. One officer says, I'll search the left of the house and you search the right, and they both agree. The officer on the right finds a bathroom door that is cracked and as he's opening it he hears scratching and a faint whispering in the bedroom he stops what he's doing and opens the door to the room he pulls out his weapon and aims it at the closet and said whoever's in there come out now he opens the door and finds nothing at the same time the officer to the left says i found her the house is clear Yo, it's 2020. How do we still not know who this is? Jack the Ripper haunted the Whitechapel District of London from 1888 to 91, killing up to 11 women and terrorizing the community. He mailed letters and sometimes body parts to the local newspaper, once stating, here's a liver. I fried and ate the other one. Because his victims were disfigured and often missing organs no, from their body, it man. was clear that the killer was highly skilled in human anatomy. Despite developments in crime technology, he evaded police and was never identified. Here's a terrifying true ghost story. Two sisters were staying at a very old historic hotel in the middle of nowhere in Montana. The hotel had been around since the 1800s. It was one of the sisters' favorite hotels and they'd been multiple times. However, the other sister couldn't sleep because all she heard was someone walking around upstairs on hardwood floors, pacing around the room. In the morning, I asked my sister how she could have slept through it, and she told me that above, it used to be a ballroom where people used to dance, but now it was carpeted and empty. There was no hardwood floors. I asked the hotel staff, and then that's when they confirmed that there was nobody up there, and if there was... I wouldn't have heard high heels on hardwood floors. This is why you should be careful what you put in the mail. In 2015, a man was asked by his neighbor to collect his mail while he was gone for a few weeks. A few days later, a large package arrives on his neighbor's front porch. The man can barely lift it, but gets over to his garage where he accidentally drops it and hears something break inside. Hoping his neighbor would think the damage occurred en route, he closes his squeaky garage door and forgets about it. But over the next couple of days, whatever was in that package started to smell so bad that he decides to open it up. Inside were two very important finds, his neighbor, who was dead, and a camera that was still recording. The police bring the man in for questioning and show him what was on the camera inside the box. It starts with his neighbor talking to the camera about how excited he is to mail himself home for his YouTube channel. Then, police fast forward to the very end where they see that the neighbor is now sleeping in the box and then suddenly gets dropped and you hear a crack. And that's his neck breaking. And then you hear a squeaky garage door close. Oh, wow. Urban legends to haunt you. The kidney heist. A man decided Not to go out one cheese. night on a date. He hadn't been out in a long time and he was really excited to meet this beautiful girl that he had met online. Nothing seemed out of the ordinary and he even paid for a dinner. He thought it was going great. However, the next day he thought maybe he just had too much to drink and he woke up in a bathtub. But then he was looking around and noticed that he was surrounded by ice. As he starts waking up and coming to his senses, he begins freaking out. He notices one of his kidneys are gone. If you 
see this in Chuck E. Cheese, you need to leave immediately. So many of the workers at Chuck E. Cheese were reporting that these animatronics are coming alive by itself. Now never go to Chuck E. Cheese during the late night. If you don't see these animatronics on this stage and they're off, please run for your life. Many of the workers say that these robots come alive at night and have been taking children from their parents. First of all, what's on Chuck E. Cheese? Clothes? These TikTokers accidentally found a body. There's a popular app right now on TikTok called Randonautica that sends you to random locations in your area. Some people find random abandoned places. Some people even found random weird things in the forest. These group of teens were led to a suitcase. But the thing is, when they opened the suitcase, it was a dead body inside. Wait, open it. <laughs> when they opened the suitcase with a stick, it had a horrible stitch. Later calling the cops, who confirmed there was dead body parts inside. This is why you should always trust your gut. In the early 1970s, a college student decided to hitchhike his way home after class. Would never a car pulls up, a man offers him a ride, and he climbs in. As soon as the car started moving, the student felt totally uneasy, like something was wrong, but he couldn't quite place it. Without saying anything, he waited till the next time they slowed down, and he flung the door open and Fucking ran away. Man. Two years later, he's flicking through TV channels when he comes across this special interview with a death row inmate. And it's just the audio recording, so he hears the interviewer ask the inmate, why did you remove all the door handles inside of your car? The man just goes, well, the first time I tried to kill someone, I picked up a college hitchhiker who got smart at some point and jumped out of my car. So, lesson learned, remove all the door handles. When they showed his picture, the student knew immediately that he was supposed to be the first victim of John Wayne Gacy, a.k.a. the killer clown, who had killed over 30 men and boys in his clown room and stuffed them into his basement. Damn. If someone calls out your name at night, you might not want to answer after watching this. As a kid, I was told stories about the legend of the night caller, and it was believed that if someone calls out your name in the middle of the night and you respond, a demon would appear out of nowhere and take you away. According to Lore, a young girl stayed up late in her room when she heard her mom call out to her. The voice was so faint that she stopped what she was doing to listen closely. And again, she heard her mom's voice calling out to her. She responded, and almost immediately, her door, which was already closed, slowly opened, and someone was standing at the foot of the door. It was dark, and she couldn't make out the features of this person, but it had the form of her mom. The shadow figure then asked the girl to follow her. Thinking it was her mom, she got up and followed. The next day, a search began, but the little girl was never found. Coincidentally, most of the kids in the neighborhood claimed that they heard a voice call out to them that same night, but they were too scared to answer. And that is why... These are the strangest things that have ever been caught on camera. This video shows what appears to be a dark, humanoid-type creature crawling towards a bunch of boys playing soccer. Once the kids see it, they immediately run away in terror. Nobody knows for sure what this animal was, but many people claim that it was the South American mythical beast known as the Pombero. This next video was taken at the funeral of a seven-year-old girl. It shows one of the balloons that was next to her coffin somehow floating directly to her crying mother in the audience. Many people believe that this was the girl trying to comfort her mother from the grave. Oh, that was cute. That's not creepy. That the actually, picture behind cute. me might look like a normal photo, but it's actually one of the most sinister, real-life haunted photos in history. Taken by a professional photographer in 1972 as guests arrived for a wedding, Everything in this picture looks happy and normal, but if you take a closer look at the man standing in black, you'll see something odd. You can actually see somebody in white crouching behind the man. All four of the people in the picture said that there was no one behind them when it was taken. The photographer said the same thing and that it would be impossible for someone to crouch behind them without him seeing them. This is a better picture where you can actually see the guy's legs and then in the top you can see his eyes. The picture was even examined by police photographers and they confirmed that it was genuine. All right, <laughs> that's all for these videos. That's all for that video. Anyways, <laughs> you already know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Love you always. I'm out.